Greetings. What's up, y'all? And welcome to another edition of Real Talk Forum. This is episode... Don't call it out, man. 9, 10, 11, and 12. Might be 8. It might be 8. We said 8 last time. Okay. It's one of them. But we have a real good topic lined up today. Um, we're coming at the end of this COVID, this COVID time, and I guess... Uh, is it the end? I think it is. It's looking like it's going gonna, it's gonna to come down. A lot of things are starting to open back up. Mm. But the point is, you know, once you see that coming down, you know, uh, entertainment's going to pick back up. Not yeah. just in Japan, everywhere. But I was looking for that. That's one of the things that I was looking for in terms of when the COVID thing is going to start uh, declining. Because what? They got to get more distractions going, more in the society. And us living in Japan, mm. uh, and us being black, melanin rich people, uh, something that happened in the news recently really, really caught our, not just our attention, but... A lot of people's. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's been all attention. over YouTube. If you live in Japan, it probably comes up uh, on your, your recommendations because I don't ever pick these things. And they, they come up to me anyway because they just assume it's news. Right, you know? right. And shout out to the people that uh, that emailed us and, uh, and let us know maybe we should cover this topic. Um, I think it is a, it's a no-brainer. All right. So what is it, man? For people that can't read Katakana. All right. It says here, Bobby Oregon, uh, the victim, uh, uh, not a victim, I'm sorry, the suspected criminal or the suspected. Alleged. Uh, alleged. Yeah, suspect. This is called a suspect. Alleged suspect is accused of attacking his wife on a domestic violence case. Okay, so who who is uh, Bobby Oregon? Who is he? Uh, in how many words? Like one? Nah, let's just keep it in. Bobby Oregon is actually a, um, a personality, they call it a, a personality in Japan. He's, he's like a, a celebrity, I, you, you would say. Um, um, MMA fighter? Yeah, he's a, you know, he, uh, okay, he's an MMA fighter. He became one. Mm -hmm. But I mean, let's just say what it is. He's a Nigerian dude. He's a, uh, Ni a, a brother of Nigerian descent. We got an um, image of him. And um, yeah, yeah, he came to Japan as many immigrants do. I think his family has a business. Mm -hmm. And um, he came here to be a part of the business. He he got on, you know, he got some opportunities and he became pretty famous and, and made something of himself. Um, most Japanese people, if you ask them who he is, they'll be aware of who he is. And I think that most people probably had a favorable image of him. Or opinion of him in Japan. Yeah, in Japan. I'm talking about. I'm, I'm talking about in Japan right now. Yeah, yeah. And myself, uh, being black first, and and all of that good stuff. Any brother that comes to Japan and, and makes something of himself hmm. and does well, you know, I'm I'm always in his corner or her corner. Just happen to be talking about brothers right now. What do you think about this this guy? I, I, yeah, I, I personally think uh, anytime I see a black man getting getting his, getting his money, hell yeah. Uh, but also out of love, he is definitely the epitome of being a coon. He went uh, there quick. I was trying to build it up, but he'll get yeah, it. Yeah, well, no, no, we threw it back and forth, but we, we were trying to get it. We're not trying to make the video too long, so let's just... If you can look up coon in the dictionary, his face would come up, almost. You know, he's known for bucking his eye. He does all the standard stereotypes, you know, bucking his eyes acting dumber than he probably actually is. A lot of extras. Yeah, a lot, a lot of extra. extra. He really a lot of extra. extra. A lot of extra smiling, extra extra dipping, extra shuffling of the feet. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Well, you can even see in the picture here. Right, um, right. Um, and you would say that might even be over an exaggeration, but once we show a little bit of a video, I think it... So, let, yeah. well, so you already said he was, why he was in the news, right? He was in the news for a uh, domestic violence case, hitting his yeah. wife. Yeah. Okay, let's so yeah, so okay, so let's, let's take a look at the Japanese. We have a video lined up. This is the news. This is today, right? This is not today, but uh, it was a couple of days ago. 16th. 16th. Okay. Yeah, 19th. Okay. Yeah. A couple of days ago. Talento de Kaktouka no Bobby Oron koto Konda Bobby Yomisha ga Saitama shi no jidaku de tsuma no ganmen o tataku nado shite Saitama tenkei ni genkou hantai to sare mashita. 妻がボビー容疑者に顔を叩かれたと客層が通報し、駆けつけた警察官がボビー容疑者を現行反逮捕しました。当時自宅には3人の子供がいたということです。ボビー容疑者はボール。Yeah. Alright. So 
this is the young man or the gentleman, not the young man, but the man we were we're, we're talking about. Mm. So once again, the guy, he's made something of himself. He's a celebrity to the point where any news that comes out about him is going to be broadcast like this. Mm. Okay? Um, Stone's talking about, yeah, and you, I mean, I think the Coon stuff speaks for itself. Mm -hmm. um, but let's talk about it. But So he's in the news, though, for, for um, striking his wife. Mm -hmm. And even before we go into any of that, um, what do you think the Japanese, what do you think the, the fervor is over this? How are Japanese people responding to this? Seems like it's going kind of back and forth. I, at first, I would have thought that uh, they were completely going to oust them. Uh, everybody, let's arrest them, throw them under the bus. But uh, maybe he's, he's gotten his reputation up enough where um, it seems like it's kind of in between. You know, and really I think it's because when the domestic violence case first came, when I looked at it, uh, I thought maybe he just straight like decked her. But it's starting to look like maybe he slapped her in the face. You right. know, no bruises, no cuts, no nothing like that. So how much of a violent act did he commit? Okay, and, and there, yeah, and in, even in Japan, I remember like a long time ago, old men would, would talk about the difference between hitting someone or punching them and striking them because remember, you know, this is a country that, you know, has a history in martial arts. So your intent, the intent that's coming from your heart mm -hmm. is very, very important. Mm -hmm. And um, and we even saw a video where one Japanese dude was making, was even talking, a young guy, and he's a young dude, and he was mm -hmm. talking about the difference between this and that. That being said, whenever you talk about, okay, okay, this guy, he, he came up, he, he, he was in a, his family business, one of the things he ended up doing, I guess we could call him as an entrepreneur, is he started fighting MMA. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how good he was. I don't have I don't have a feeling that he was that good. But if he's he's over the line of being a professional fighter, the um, him striking anyone, let alone a woman, is different than just your everyday run of the mill Joe right, hitting right, someone. Right. So that has to be taken into account as well. Exactly. Um, but even the young Japanese dude who was on here, he was basically like, what do you like? I don't think that he really did anything that bad. Like, what did he do so wrong if he, he said it, if uh, a man, uh, some, in, in some words, he said if a man was, uh, got caught cheating on his wife and she loved him and she slapped him, that's not domestic violence. If a woman, if you're the, one, the woman you love uh, betrays you in some yeah. kind of way and you love her and you slap her is who's wrong on that as well if we're talking about equality is a slap kind of goes back and forth you know what i'm saying and I, i've been guilty of of slapping a woman before i ain't gonna lie you know what i'm saying and and i think i even did it i still i'm not saying i was righteous on it but i wasn't trying to bruise or do anything like that you know what i'm saying it was really yeah. just a yeah you weren't trying to decapitate her or anything yeah like that. yeah 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 that the Japanese, I get the same uh, feeling that you get. That it's kind of back and forth. Uh, we also saw a video where one young guy he's trying to sit up on high and he's he's talking all down. Kind yeah, of yeah, like it was his boy. You know, they they got these boxing circles, right. but he thinks he's senpai almost. Right. You know, and he's talking down to him. Senpai meaning the, the authority, the the higher authority. Mm -hmm. Um, so it goes back and forth. Um, but I uh, two things I think is notable is even right simultaneously we see what's going on with African people in China. And I only bring this up because people email me, kept emailing uh, yeah. me about, what about China? And it took me a while to get, oh yeah, people see Japan and China as kind of the same place yeah. in certain Western nations. Mm. So that I can, that's something I think worth juxtaposing when, when you see, when you think about, you know, just how quickly uh, things got, the tables got turned mm. on, on um, African people in China. Now, this is not anything even close to what was going on over there. And I'm not trying to just say, oh, Japanese are so great, um, because we do know that there is a xenophobia situation, if not problem, an issue with Japanese in the culture. But right now, in, two, in 2020, whatever you want to call this, the 21st century, there is no, no strict policy against black people that I'm aware of. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Whereas it's, you can see, like I said, you can see in China how it's different. Right, I forgot all about that. And they're, they're, they're yeah. trying to kick people out right. and they, they don't want them marrying their women and all right. that. He's getting his little lecture or whatever, but it doesn't seem like he's on some throwing under the bus 
Well, well, not even, I mean, but then all black people getting thrown in the bus or anything like that even happening. Yeah, okay. It's not the policy yeah. right now in Japan. It's not the policy, yeah. Yeah, yeah that yeah, could yeah. change over, that could change overnight and next week we could be singing a different song. Mm. But we're just saying what is, mm. what is, mm. okay? Um, what about the nigga wake up call? Okay, because you know, like we could go back and forth and talk about this forever. But remember, we're going to talk about it from our perspective. So, nigga wake up call, that all comes back to just talking about it from what does this mean for blacks? Um, uh, for me, you know, looking at this brother, and again, that's why I wanted to say before, I give him his props for coming over here and, and doing work and, and getting on and, and making something out of nothing. You know, those are all hip hop values, if not right. even black. But, and there is a big but, the coon thing, we talk about this. Um, again, I like to call them trauma victims, these vots. Um, uh, um, uh, uh, va. What is that again? A victim of a trauma. trauma. A yeah. victim of trauma. Mm. Um, you you can see it in this 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 coonery, mm. this coonery and buffoonery. Mm. And nah, I, I could never ever stand. I mean, like I said, you got to do what you got to do to get yours. I understand that, but integrity has got to enter the picture at some point. Mm. And you can't be a man. You can't even be a human being without a certain level of integrity. Mm -hmm. um, this goes into his, his, he has children. Now how do his children watch him do this? And then yeah. have respect for him. And then later on, you gotta respect me as a man. But Pop, right. everybody sees you like this. I, I see you like this too. Right, 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 right. I mean, we, I mean that's what you're known for. You know, and um, just looking at when he's, like just, just how his situation, this, Bobby Olegan has been around for so long. I've known him since I got to Japan. You know what I'm saying? I was like, who is this coon on TV since I got here? Mm -hmm. And his situation hasn't improved over the years. You would have thought, like just even looking at his house, I'm like, it seems like he's in a standard house, standard situation. He's on TV all the time, and this is as far as it gets for him. Yeah. And uh, look, look at look at how his just to get his wife. Calling the police and not, you know, most Japanese when they respect you, the last thing they do is take it to the police. You know, so t to get this far in his career and have this happen shows that he's not been looked at as a man. You right. Know? And he's lost complete integrity. He's never had integrity. He's never had the integrity. Yeah. 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 It's, it, you can't. I mean, even in other cultures where maybe Kunin is not as frowned upon as Western Americans have it. The, everybody has a level of kunin in a black country. They all know what it is. Right. And you know, I know Nigerians know what a coon is. If he ain't a coon, then what is? Yeah. Again, without going into a long definition, if you don't know what that is, you need to go in, in Wikipedia or, or Google or something like that. Um, we're not going to have that conversation, at least not today. Right, right, right. If you don't know what it is, yeah. I also wanted to talk about something else because when we, we had a, a, a previous conversation um, and I can't talk about this enough. We had some people, uh, to me, try to break up the unity by saying uh, a certain situation only had to do with black Americans. Uh, and now, this is a situation right here where we can look at this. Now, the whole time up to now, we've talked about this and we're talking about him and I think we've even used the word brother. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I see this man as my brother, as a black man. Not only as human, but as a black man. But if we kept the same energy as a lot of people who, oh no, that's just a black American problem. They're violent over there, they can do this. We could easily start talking about Nigerian people. Easily. <laughs> and I used to get, you know, I, before I, I locked my hair up, I used to go to, uh, uh, to um, you know, uh, get my hair done. And some of them were salons and there was a lot of, Niger lot of uh, women from uh, the continent. Mm -hmm. When this was back in New York or even in Japan too. And you, so you're listening to all that girl, that, that woman talk. And they used to slander, and I remember, they used to make points of talking about Nigerian men. Above and beyond the Haitian men, the other men that they were, they were, they were pointing out. Mm -hmm. And this is not me saying it, and I'm sure if we looked, we could get some, some black women to come up here and, and, and co-sign on this. So there are certain stereotypes that are put out there. And even if you don't want to believe this, mm -hmm. um, I even just looked up here real quick and just looked at in, in, in good old Wikipedia. And they're talking about domestic violence in Nigeria is a problem, mm. as in many parts of Africa. There is a deep cultural belief in Nigeria that it is, a socially accept it is socially acceptable 
to hit a woman, to discipline a spouse. And then there's a whole bunch of other stuff. But my point, what I'm trying to make is, yeah, if we want to point out differences, we can do that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But usually, and I've heard Tariq Nasheed say this, I've heard other people say this, when there's something good going on, everybody wants to be black. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But when something bad happens, now it's time to talk about how old. He or she ain't down with, with us. Mm. We're separate. So, you know, we need to keep this energy the same all the time. Yeah, and, and on, on a, even on a higher plan, on, not even a higher plan, but uh, to, to extend on that, not just when it's good, everybody wants to be black. When it's good, everybody wants to talk about what type of black it is. Oh, yeah. we're, we're from Caribbean. Oh, in Africa, and uh, Kenyan, we yeah, this. Yeah, side. America, I'm like, no, he's not well, black. No, he, he's, he's yeah. from Trinidad. Yeah. Why are you calling him black? Right. <laughs> right. You know? Yeah, yeah, like, like we don't all share the same values. Well, if we don't share the same values, then, okay, so is this what goes down with Nigerians? Is yeah. This, this is what it is? Yeah. Or is it a Yoruba thing? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Thing, yeah. how, how deep do we have to get with this? Mm. Okay? For me, I critique him and I'll say something about the coon, but I would only do this because I'm speaking to black people. Mm. If there was other people who were around, and I might not even go in on that like that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? like if there was other types of people, non-black people. Yeah, around. I'm not going to do that in front of a crowd yeah. a whole lot of Nigerians, though, I'm like, nah, nah. Yeah, I'm going to keep... One specified personal coon out here. Yeah. And then when black people around each other, then maybe we can go back and forth on that. And anything I have to say about any kind of coonery is not because he's Nigerian, it's because he's black. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. Keeping the energy the same. Keeping the energy the same. Same way I would talk to my own blood relatives. I hold everybody to that standard. Right? Okay, so I just want to make sure that that, 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 that is clear because, mm -hmm. um, you know, I, 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 it, it, that definitely cuts to me when this, that's just you guys. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's just y'all. Mm -hmm. You know, when, when we have so much in common. Mm -hmm. um, so with that, um, yeah, again, we're going to- Good luck with them, man. Anything else that we can hit on this? Um, yeah, we were talking about it earlier, I guess, um, on on domestic violence. Where if you don't have uh, a, a virtuous woman or a virtuous person getting hit versus a person who's not virtuous, right? Looking at the situation, I, I personally don't know what okay. what it is with her, his wife. Don't know her, but uh, in terms of looking at him, she fell in love with who he was that's what you like, then um, I give her the same amount of sympathy as I give him. It's right. very, very little, you know what I'm Oh saying? yeah, if you yeah. just want to just wrap up this conversation, right. this is probably just two ridiculous people, right. emotionally immature, both of them had, had um, unrealistic goals in mind when they got together. Just like a lot of people, I was, I've been divorced, so I can put myself into that category. Mm -hmm. But in this case, that's what it was. The difference is that they're, you know, they're, unfortunately, their drama gets played out in public. Right. You know what I'm saying? And then it has to, it has to come to that. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I wish the best for the brother. I wish the best, you know, for, for the, uh, the woman in, in question too. And especially the yes. children. Yes. The children, because yeah. they're sitting there having to watch all this. And they're going to be, you know, uh, direct victims um, of whatever goes on from here on in. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. Can't think about anything else on that. I mean, it's, it seems like an open and shut case, brother. If you get out, if, if whatever you, you get out of this trouble, you might want to dial it back a little bit. You know what I'm saying, Just dial, dial back. <laughs> we know it's an act. No black person can act like that 24-7 and not feel the stress of it. Yeah, that's just you know what I'm that, saying? You know, the, the whole coon energy. We're gonna have to have a, a conversation maybe about the whole coon energy too. Mm -hmm. Maybe the nuances of, of how it's different here. Um, because again, we're getting it from a whole bunch of different people. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. A whole bunch of different uh, African nations, Caribbean nations, American nations. But yeah. it, what, what does it all have in common? And really, because maybe a lot of people don't know what, what it's about. True. You know what I mean? What it's about it and what it entails and how it links back to slavery or colonization depending on where you come from. Yeah, yeah. So we can just stay away from that. Now that's only y'all. Yeah, especially in this beta this beta world we live in. We yeah. switch from alpha to beta. And I'm saying one or one is better than the other, but we have switched from an alpha male society like world to now more and more yeah. of a beta society. Beta dominant. Beta dominant. And you could be like, what, what are you talking about? Like, what, what's wrong that he's doing? You know what I'm saying? Right. That he makes himself unintimidating. 
Is that a word? Non-threatening. 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 Opening yeah. your eyes, uh, uh, speaking really uh, poor Japanese on purpose, trying to be funny, smiling all the time. Well, that's the shallow level. It gets a lot deeper than that. Deeper than that, yeah. but just coming off as yeah. completely unintimidating and, and not really getting across, you know. And we're, only, and we're only talking with the people on the fence here. If you if you yeah. die hard and think that's good, then we're not talking to you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and get on, you know, get on, you know. He's, he's the narrator of a show called You Are Nane Nihone. Which means in English? Uh, you are non non no time any uh, I don't even know the whole time, but it's like, here, yeah. what the hell are you doing here? Yeah. That's that's what it comes off as. Yeah. If you if you know Japanese, in a very demeaning way, like you know, yeah. you know. So yeah. he's already he's already demeaning himself, like you know, the fat guy that makes a lot of fat jokes as a comedian. Mm. It's kind of the same thing. Self deprecating. Yeah. yeah. Okay, but for those who are on the fence, please stay tuned for that. Yeah, we'll get into um, it again. Yeah, and we're gonna get up out of here. You know, right. so, so thanks for, for checking us out. And um Afroasiatic.jp. All day. Real talk English.jp. Alright, that's yeah. it. We out. Peace. Peace.